What is going on everybody? David here from Lucas Videos and Toys and today we are going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Dominion Claire and Dilophosaurus 2-pack. Now this is a, a pretty amazing 2-pack because um, if you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend you to go see it. But um, the Dilophosaurus itself has a pivotal role in the in the third act of the film. So, um, if you're a fan of it, you're just going to have to wait until the third act to finally get to see the, the love sword in its, all its glory and stuff. So, pretty amazing stuff. Pretty, real, really cool stuff. Uh, I really enjoyed the film, you know. But anyways, um, but yeah, this, this two-pack make, does make sense, you know. Um, after seeing the film, you know, I do like the fact that they did uh, include her with the, with the Dilo. You know, as far as a, a dinosaur human two pack goes, so uh, it, it does. It is very fitting. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Uh, so we have the Jurassic World Dominion logo right here. We got Claire and the Lophosaurus in the middle. We got the um, uh, UPC code up there. If you need to look for it, and just go ahead and uh, scan it. Uh, we've got the Mattel logo right there. H four and up. That's me. And we got the dinosaur and Claire with all of her accessories right there in the middle. We got Rexy right there on the um, far left-hand corner on the card back. And also we got a little bit of a uh, fax app information right there. And as far as the card back itself, you know, it's got that night sky, with the forest and the helicopters in the background. And we got a little bit of a, a fiery uh, ground right there. And, um, so here's the bottom right there and, uh, all the, uh, information, copyright information. And on the back, we have the Jurassic World Dominion logo right there. Fact set information right there. And then we have the Dilophosaurus and, uh, uh Claire with her, uh, tracker and gun accessory. And we just previously took a look at the Owen two-pack set. So if you haven't checked that out, please do so. The Owen and Beta two-pack. All right. So let's go ahead and um, crack this thing open and take a closer look at it. All right. So we got Claire and the Dilo out of its packaging with all the accessories. So let's get a closer look at them. All right, so we're gonna move these up the way so we can take a closer look at the accessories first. So the first thing we're gonna be taking a look at is this little tracker. So that is pretty cool, nice little detail. This does remind me a little bit of the uh, uh, Playmates uh, little uh, accessory where they have all the uh, detail and stuff. It's a real resemblance to that. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab one right now. Alright, like I mentioned, um, it does remind me a little bit of a, one of those um, Star Trek uh, tricorders. You know, even though this is a little bit bigger for the five inch figures, and this is for the three and three quarters, so it wouldn't be in scale. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool, nonetheless. And here is a, um, a pad, you know. So I just thought that'd be kind of a neat little comparison, even though it's a little bit oversized for three and three quarters, you know. Um, nonetheless, um, it's a very unique accessory, so very happy to have it. And so here is her uh, gun accessory. So now this is a, a pretty neat accessory. So, but I won't mention that whether she uses it or not. So, but it's it's neat to have her have it, you know. So love the details. I, I think it's a, a lot better detail than what's in the rifle that uh, uh, Owen came with. You know, in my opinion. <clears throat> so 
It looks like the plastic on this one right here. Looks a little. Looks a little. Smudged or something. But anyways. But yeah, very unique accessory in itself. So. Alright. So here is Claire herself. So really like this figure. I think it does look like her a lot from the film. Really love the uh, red hair. You know. Now the uh, original Claire's that I got from the Fallen Kingdom line, they, their her face sculpt looked a little bit more manly than <laughs> anything, but this one, you know, looks a lot better. Um, I did see, or not see, but I did hear and read that some people felt like they used the uh, um, Ellie head sculpt from the Legacy Collection as for for Claire's new one. Um, I don't really see that, to be honest. But let me know in the comments below if you think that uh, they use the Ellie head sculpt for the head itself, not the hair, but the head, her head itself for Claire. Uh, let me know if you see the resemblance, because I don't. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. But uh, I do like her outfit, you know, she does wear this in the film. So it's very neat. A little bit more darker colors this time. <clears throat> Not as vibrant as what she wore in the Fallen Kingdom. So very cool. Very nicely detailed in the pants and Boots as well. So got a little bit of wrinkling in the pants. So yeah, so there's this shirt. Very cool. So there's very nice detail in the in the face as well, the eyes, the lips, everything. So overall this is a very good figure, you know. Very happy to have this. <clears throat> All right, so there is the new uh, <clears throat> Claire with all uh, with the previous ones that we got from the Fallen Kingdom line. So as you can tell, like I said, uh, these these head sculpts look pretty pretty manly. <laughs> if you ask me, I think if they gave her lipsticks, it probably would have been okay. But overall. Not what I would call a pretty face. You no. Know, some of them are, are, are good, but some of them are really bad. But this one, this one, got it, got it right. So, really liked it a lot. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at the Dilophosaurus. And um, I must say, this this is probably... The best one that we've had. I mean, because especially with the frill, I don't know that it's got the ugly hinge right there, but that frill, the way it's painted and everything, it's it's very nice and it looks very accurate to the film. You know, I'm very thrilled about that. An incredible amount of detail that they packed in for this uh, figure. Look at that. Got that wet look to it, especially on the crest right there. Very nice paint job right there, and the teeth look excellent, you know. The frill looks a lot larger from what I'm used to seeing. And so, as far as the body and sculpt goes, it's pretty much essentially um, like the runs that we've gotten previously, but it looks a little bigger, you know. And we'll do some comparisons here in a minute. But uh, as far as detail goes, they, they went all in on this Dilo. Like, literally. I like the dark and light contrast that they, colors that they gave it. You know. And here is the scan code if anybody needs it. 
So as far as way of articulation goes, like I said, you get the the articulated frills that just go forward and backwards. You can't fold them or nothing. And the jaw. And uh, jaw doesn't open close because it's where you put the spit. But the, uh, the arms go up and down. There's no hinge or anything. And then as far as the feet go, you know, it's forwards and backwards, you know. The tail goes. Well, mine doesn't. Uh, move unless if you heat it up, but I'm not I'm about I'm not about to do that. So here is the spit that we get, and uh, let's go ahead and stick it in its mouth right there. There's its hole. So looks like it's got a little peg. So, there's no right or wrong way to, to put this in, but there you go, the spitter. So overall, I mean, I do like the stylo. I mean, it's it's beautifully done. I mean, look, I mean, like I said, it's pretty movie accurate, uh, especially the frill. Love the frill, how they, they painted it and everything. So, let's go ahead and bring out a few others. So, here is the Legacy Collection that we got the first go around. So, yeah, that is, this is a lot bigger than the ones that we've gotten before. So, this is a beautiful figure too as well. And the other one to bring out is that we got from the second legacy set from the Dennis Nedry. So, beautiful figure as well. So these are like the three best ones, in my opinion, that I have in my collection. I have others, but <clears throat> out, of, out of the bunch, I think this is the top three when it comes to detail and everything. And, um... Color-wise, it's color schemes and everything, so I think these are very well done. But look how much larger this is compared to any of the other ones. Look at that. It's like twice the size, which is really cool, though, you know. Let me know in the comments below what you think, you know. Which one's your favorite out of the three? Do you like the Dominion version? Do you like the first Legacy collection version, and or do you like the one that came with the Dennis Nedry Jeep set? You know, I love all three of them. And that is it, my friends. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this review as much as I did filming it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this set. Is this your favorite one, or do you like the Owen Beta set more, or do you like this one better than the Owen Beta set? Um, me personally, uh, I can't pick. But if I had to go with the uh, dinosaur wise, uh, well, I guess, yeah, I think I really did just make up my mind just now. I like this set better than the Owen Beta set. One, because it's more movie accurate, and two, I actually got an actual female Claire without the mainly face. And I love the accessories that she comes with. So this is a very cool set, you know, even though the Owen set, you know, its advantage has it came with the Fox. But um, <clears throat> overall, as a whole, I, I like this. I like this set better. So let me know in the comments below what you think. You know which one's your favorite, and uh, don't forget words of wisdom. Buy what you love and know what you like because if you buy what you like, you always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.